All right, Full Metal Alchemist, Brotherhood now, that is an epic ride. If you're into alchemy, deep emotional arcs, and intense action, this series is top tier. It's got everything, brotherhood, betrayal, loss, redemption, and a deep dive into the laws of equivalent exchange. You ready for a wild, alchemy-fueled breakdown? Let's go! The story kicks off with two brothers, Edward and Alphonse Elric, who commit the ultimate taboo in alchemy, human transmutation. These boys just wanted to bring their mom back from the dead, but alchemy's no joke. Their attempt goes horribly wrong. Edward loses his leg, and Alphonse. His entire body is gone. In a desperate move, Ed sacrifices his arm to bind A.L.'s soul to a giant suit of armor. Yeah, that is how the series begins. After the tragedy, the brothers set out on a quest to find the fabled Philosopher's Stone, a powerful artifact that could bypass alchemy's rule of equivalent exchange. You can't gain something without giving something of equal value. They believe the stone might restore their bodies. But along the way, they get wrapped up in so much more than they bargained for. Edward, who's now rocking some cool auto mail, mechanical limbs, becomes a state alchemist, the Full Metal Alchemist, hence the name, and is working under the military. The government seems shady from the get-go, but it's later that the real horrors behind it are revealed. The brothers quickly realize that the Philosopher's Stone is tied to some dark stuff, including human sacrifice, and they start uncovering a massive conspiracy within the very nation of Amestris. What's wild about Brotherhood is how it balances so many elements. On one hand, it's a story about two brothers fighting for each other and trying to undo their mistake. But it's also about deep, philosophical themes, like the price of ambition, the consequences of playing God, and the nature of humanity. The Elrics cross paths with a ton of memorable characters, from fellow alchemists to military personnel, all while facing off against the series' main antagonists, the homunculi. These creatures, each named after one of the seven deadly sins, like lust, envy, and greed, are terrifying and mysterious. They serve the real big bad of the series, Father, a villain with godlike ambitions who's tied to the boy's history in a shocking way. One of the coolest aspects of the show is the way it explores alchemy itself. It's not just magic, it's based on laws and science. You have to give something up to get something of equal value. That's the whole equivalent exchange deal. It's fascinating watching Ed and Al outthink their opponents not just with power, but with their knowledge of alchemy's intricacies. But the heart of the story? It's the relationship between Ed and Al. You really feel their bond as brothers, their pain over their mistakes, and their determination to keep going no matter what. Ed might be the hot-headed, stubborn one, while Al is the more compassionate and thoughtful younger brother, but together they make one heck of a team. And you're rooting for them the whole way, through every battle, every heartbreak, every discovery. Speaking of discoveries, the series dives deep into the history of Amestris and the bloody truth behind the Philosopher's Stone, spoiler alert, it's made from human souls. Yeah, dark stuff. It's mind-blowing when the brothers realize that their quest for the stone might be at the cost of other lives, which completely changes their approach. And the fights? Oh man, the fights are insane. You've got alchemists shaping metal and stone out of thin air, epic hand-to-hand -hand combat, and crazy powerful abilities from the homunculi. One of the most intense rivalries in the show is between Edward and Scar, a man out for revenge against state alchemists for the destruction of his people. Scar's arc is full of moral complexity, as you start understanding his pain and anger, making him more than just a villain. Plus, you've got fan-favorite characters like Roy Mustang, the flame alchemist, who's an absolute beast in battle, but also carries a deep emotional burden. His showdown with lust? Legendary. And then there's Olivier Armstrong, the badass general who protects Fort Briggs, and of course, the adorable but tragic Nina Tucker incident. Seriously, everyone cries at that part. If you know, you know. The series builds to an epic climax, where all the characters you've come to know and love converge in a final showdown against Father and the Homunculi. The scale is massive, Father's plan is to essentially become a god by sacrificing the entire population of Amestris. 
The Elric brothers, along with their allies, band together to stop him. There are insane battles, shocking twists, and sacrifices that'll leave you on the edge of your seat. In the end, after all the fighting, the brothers make the ultimate realization that they don't need the Philosopher's Stone to restore their bodies. Instead, they rely on their bonds, their wits, and their understanding of alchemy's deeper truths. Edward, in the final moments, performs one last act of transmutation, sacrificing his own ability to use alchemy to bring back Alphonse's body. It's a heart-wrenching but beautiful moment of brotherly love and sacrifice. Full Metal Alchemist, Brotherhood is a masterpiece from start to finish. It's action-packed, emotionally resonant, and dives deep into themes of sacrifice, morality, and the consequences of power. The animation is gorgeous, the music is stirring, and every character feels fully realized. Whether you're into epic fight scenes, intricate world building, or a story that'll make you laugh, cry, and think, this anime has it all. So, what's your favorite part? The emotional beats? The fights? Or the epic brotherly bond?